Hey everyone, so I am definitely overdue for this empties video and I have a real mishmash of bits. It's like hair, a little bit of makeup and then skincare again. So I'll just pick up whatever's in front of me and show you. I have a L'Oreal Hair Expertise Ever Pure shampoo. Now the reason I picked this up, I actually got the conditioner as well and both of these are empty. I picked these up because these are no sulfates, so it's sulfate free. Um, it's supposed to color f uh, care for coloured hair. Respects hair fibre, protects coloured hair. So the main thing I had heard about the like sulfate free stuff is that it's meant to be very kind on hair and um, you know it's really good if you want to make sure that it doesn't strip colour. Um, and it says here this is for coloured weakened hair. The first thing, okay, the, the, the kind of fragrance on these is botanical oils, rosemary and mint. But when you're actually putting it on your hair it smells just like toothpaste, which I couldn't kind of get over. It was a bit too strange, it was a bit too minty. It actually did feel like I was putting toothpaste on my hair. So I wasn't a real big fan of these. Now these weren't very expensive, I got these in Tesco's. Um, and maybe like five or six quid each maybe, I can't even remember. But one thing I did notice, and this is again to do with the lack of sulfates, is that the shampoo doesn't, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't lather very well. So it, I kind of felt like I had to work it more into the hair to clean it, especially if I had, um, especially if I had product in my hair. So I don't think I'm going to be replaced. I just poked myself in the eye. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be um, replenishing these guys. It was nice to try them out, but it didn't. They, you know, they didn't really kind of rock my socks, and I'm not sure that the lack of sulfates was enough to warrant using these. But that's those, anyhow. Um, another hair thing, and you can see how battered these are, how battered these are from being squished. This is one of, um, of the Pantene Expert Collection Age Defy Conditioners. Did I have the hair shampoo? Hair shampoo. Did I, I think I had the shampoo with this as well. Um, and I either showed it in my last empties or else I gave it away. I can't remember. But basically, this is one of these kind of anti-aging hair things that I've been trying a lot of lately because luckily they've been sent to me. And I have to say, I am quite fond of them. They just beautify the skin, They're, uh, the hair rather. They're trying to like make your hair as young looking as possible, but it doesn't really matter what age you are because basically what it does is just wants to give you sleeker, thicker looking hair, um, which is kind of the opposite of what aging hair, I suppose, is. Um, and these were quite nice. I probably would repurchase these, you know, because I actually felt that this really gave my hair a lovely shine and stuff like that. So I was more impressed with this than I was by the L'Oreal one. Yeah, but that's interesting. Um, I have a MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I actually have two of these, but I threw away one of them by mistake. Um, and that kind of annoys me when I do that, because I do try to keep everything for the empties, but that's that guy, and I go through that like no one's business anyhow. Then this is another thing I finished. I actually have had this for ages. It's a Lord & Berry Smudge Proof Water liner, liner, number 701 in the black. There's like a good bit of the pencil left, but the inside part, like, uh, it's almost like this is in wood, it's more like plastic or so, or something. And then the inside black, like the actual black part, the actual pencil, like the product, say, um, there was very little of it left, it was only like that much, and it was hardened, because this is those waterproof ones can harden if any air gets to them, and it just fell out, so that's why that's empty. But this is a great um, pencil if you can get a hold of it. Um, even though it's smudging all over me. I got this in Screen Face in London, so that shows how long I've had it for. So it did last quite a long time, and um, I've never seen it in Ireland though. Another thing that's dried out is this BH Cosmetics Eye and Lip Primer. Now, I got this years ago, you know, kind of um, during my early YouTube career, say, uh, when BH Cosmetics sent to me, and I'm talking maybe about three years, and I loved this with a passion when I got it, I really, really did. Now, I've since come across a lot of similar products that I love just as much, but this was one of my first, like, well, well loved eye primers. There's a very small amount in the actual pot, but it did last me quite a long time. Now, I didn't use it much over the last year or so, that's why I was doing a kind of a run through of all my cosmetics or of all my makeup there in the last month or so and getting rid of stuff that was too old or um, that has dried up and this was one of them. But that I did love. I absolutely loved it while I had it. Then I finished another one of these guys. I actually finished a few of these now. This is my Redermic or Retinol Treatment by La Roche-Posay. I have two empties here. And these, I think I'm on my third, third one of it now, yeah. This is my nighttime treatment and retinol is one of the, it's a derivative of vitamin A and it's like the over-the-counter version of retin-A or tretinin. 
and basically what it does is it helps your skin replenish itself and it's one of the only um, skincare ingredients actually proven to help reverse the signs of aging like it can actually minimize wrinkles because it works from deep down in the skin and it makes your cells like re renew themselves at a much faster rate and stuff like that I won't go into it now, but this is absolutely brilliant. This was the highest um, concentration of retinol in any product you can get over the counter until Vichy just released their new one, which is like their wrinkle something system or wrinkle relaxing complex or something like that. And that has a slightly higher percentage. So either this or that I'd highly recommend. They, these ones though are the only ones I've tried and I really, really love them. Actually, another thing I have kept here and I never showed it in and empties because I had it left over here. The reason I had them left over there was to do a video. It was to do a video about retinol and I just still haven't gotten around to it. Um, but there's no point in holding on to these because I can just t tell you about them again. It, this is the Rock Wrinkle Correction Night Cream. And this is what I started off on when I first started using retinol because um, it's a lower concentration. It just let my skin get used to it. So that's a brilliant one. And then this is what I use as my eye cream. It's the Rock Retinox wrinkle correction, anti-eye, or anti-aging, or anti-wrinkle eye cream, whatever you call it. Um, and don't let the anti-aging or anti-wrinkle thing put you off. Any age can use these. The younger you start, um, the better, because prevention, of course, is better than cure. And that's why that's brilliant as well. And I've just got my mum starting them, and she loves them as well. Then another thing I have, which isn't going to be a surprise, is the Fix Plus by MAC. I find that some of these videos can be a little bit repetitive sometimes, because I do tend to use the same things over and over again but I suppose it's good for you to see because you know that I use them um anyhow then I have the brush cleanser another brush cleanser and I have two more in there that I'm not showing you but of course my MAC brush, brush cleanser I always go through that um oh I'm such a dodo I didn't notice this so here's actually the um shampoo that goes along with this guy and I did really really like this especially now that I'm looking at the bottle and I remember um, it just gave my hair a lovely, it gave it a lovely sheen first of all, but it didn't weigh it down and I do remember really liking this guy as well. So that was the Pantene Expert Collection Age Defy Anti-Aging Shampoo. Um, I finished a, just a generic Tesco nail polish remover thingy majiggy. I don't tend to go through nail polish remover as quick as I should because I'm a devil for picking my nail varnish. I'm really, really bad, particularly since I discovered the wonders of a base coat and a top coat, which means that you can get it off in one delightful swoop, which I love way too much, but anyhow. I finished a MAC Opulash. This isn't a surprise to me because I actually find that these dry out pretty quickly. Great mascara for the first wee while that you have them, um, but they do tend to grow out. Uh, uh, the formula, whatever is whatever the formula, or whatever is up with the formula, it does tend to dry up much quicker than any of my other MAC mascaras. And it's not to say that this is one of my least favorite MAC mascaras because I love it while it works for me, but it does grow out or dry out too quickly, which is such a shame. But it's still one of the cheaper mascaras. I'm nearly sure Opulash isn't in like the 24 euro range. I think it's still down around the 18 euro range. So it's not the like expensive, expensive ones. Um, then I have a L'Oreal Paris three in one my cellar solution, which I love. I, you know, I'll use any of these ones. I mean, the one that I'm using now is the Garnier one because there's way more in it and it's, you know, a great price. So this is lovely though for what it is. Um, it does the same thing as all other, all other my cellar solutions. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, the Vichy Pure Thermal, which is their my cellar solution. Again, I love this as well. Uh, this is more expensive though. So while there are great ones out there like the Garnier one and the L'Oreal one that are cheaper that do the same thing I probably will be going with them but this is still just as good. This guy here you've seen me going on about as well before it's the Garnier Simply Essentials Soothing 2-in-1 makeup remover so this is for eyes and face and this is brilliant for getting out off anything like waterproof or really hardcore if you have a, like a really heavy heavy um, amount of product on. I remember I had gotten this yeah at half price at 2.55 in McLaughlin's Pharmacy but they're usually around the five euro mark or four euro mark. I finished, of course, another La Roche Posay thermal spring water. I can't live without these, regardless of whether it's like La Roche Posay or Avene or Vichy. Uh, any of them could be on the go at any time. But I always use these hand in hand with my, the next one here, with my MAC sprays. And here I have the MAC mineralized charged water spray. I have spoken in the past about how I love this ever so slightly more than the MAC Fix Plus. 
Um, I love the fact that this with its diamond particles in it does give a little bit more of a lovely kind of sheen or gleam to the skin than the Fix Plus. The Fix Plus is I think more soothing whereas this is more like feeling to the skin because it contains more vitamins and minerals but either way they're both lovely. This is slightly more expensive as well. Um, another, yeah this guy goes with these doesn't it? Yeah. I actually bought this at the same time I bought these guys. This is the Sulfate Free Reinforcing, Reinforcing Hair Mask. Again, it had that minty smell that just, I felt like I was slathering toothpaste all over my hair. But my hair did feel lovely after. I, I got more benefits from this, I think, than I did from the shampoo or conditioner. Um, so this is basically like a treatment for your hair. And of course, I'd leave it in for longer than you normally do. It says leave it in for three to five minutes. I always leave it in for as long as possible. Um, it didn't weigh down the hair so that's really really good. I had to finish this even though there's still product in it but these get so manky they're you know like clear mascaras or clear brow gels and this is the Catrice Lash Brow Designer. I love this mainly because of the the um, wand where sideways one side well, like one side of it is more like a toothbrush and the other side is more like a spoolie so it's great for both lashes and um brows. I love this. This is the only one I ever go bother with anymore but it gets so so manky after a while so that's why I had to get rid of that. So of course the ones that are dirty are the ones I use on myself. I have one for clients as well but the ones for clients are always clean because I only ever dip a clean like disposable wand into them. These are the ones I use on myself. I also finished a duo dark tone lash adhesive. This is brilliant. I love the black one because it just saves you a lot of hassle. Um, when you're applying false lashes over black eyeliner it means you don't have to really go back over with your eyeliner afterwards. I still haven't found anything I love as much as duo lash glue. I know like other people go on about different brands that I've seen online but I personally haven't tried them. Okay we're getting down to the last couple of bits. The Vichy Normaderm. Um, this is their Triactive Anti-Imperfection Hydrating Care. Care? 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 This is a basically like a, a hydrating, like a moisturiser but it does help with acne or any imperfections on the skin so it probably does contain like acids and stuff like that I'm not really sure I haven't looked too closely at the ingredients but it was a lovely one I love this for say nights when I'm out where I don't have to worry about SPF um, when there's no sun around or if I'm wearing a lot of SPF in my makeup or I like maybe a mineral powder and I don't necessarily need it on my skincare that's why I, I would have liked this for and um, I can't remember the price or anything like that but it was it was a lovely little I probably would replace that again in the future it was a nice little um little moisturizer and then this is the last thing it's the master brush cleaner and preserve now I may have mentioned this before but I haven't mentioned this much in the past because this is what I actually use to clean my brushes I was an artist before I was into makeup I went to art college and I'm um specialized in painting and I still have like most of my paint stuff I don't do it anymore as much but this brush cleanser um a brush soap rather it looks just like a white soap that would have filled this up and that's what I would have used for cleaning my brushes back in the day and not just like like wet paint but you know dried in oils on your paint as well and this gets everything off so this is what I was actually using for my own brushes and it worked perfectly but I never wanted to advise or recommend anyone else use it because it's not it's not, what's the word, tested for, I know not in use on the skin, but it's not tested for cosmetic brushes that will eventually go back onto the skin. But the reason I decided to show it is because Heather of Soul Club 79 said that she saw a company selling this at iMats. So obviously a company is selling it for makeup purposes at iMats, then, you know, it's not my fault if other people are using it. So that's just basically what I use anyhow. Um, the ingredients are proprietary, so the company won't let you know exactly what's in them. All they'll say as well is that it hasn't been tested for, you know, the use on cosmetic stuff, but it works amazingly and I've never had any issues with it and my brushes are always perfect and this does condition and preserve the brushes as well as like clean everything off. So that's why that's there. And that's the end of my empties, my favourites, my empties, I suppose it is kind of my favourites because you see some of the bits that I reuse over and over again but that's the end of my empties for now and that's it so thanks for watching guys I'll chat to you really soon. Oh and if you are if you are interested about the tutorial for this look the link will be below because it's up before this video so it's long guys.